Hey everyone, Dr. Matt Geller here. I'm here with Dr. Evans. She practices in Chicago, and we're gonna talk about some very interesting topics. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. So if you're in the cataract and refractive space, you almost have to be in the dry eye space because of the whole uh, evaluation pre-op side of things. What is your process for evaluating for dry eye, my bone mean gland dysfunction, those types of things prior to making your referral? In our practice, we implemented a protocol that for all pre-op cataract patients, we would do a speed questionnaire. Let's say we took a criteria of six or more on the speed questionnaire. Those patients would warrant further dry eye testing at the exam. Mm -hmm. We stained, we do different things depending on the patient, maybe tear osmolarity, maybe a liposcan mybography. Depending on what that showed, we would then do topography if things were irregular or if we knew that the ocular surface was unstable enough to, to warrant putting off cataract surgery, mm -hmm. we would send over to our dry eye clinic for mm -hmm. treatment before surgery. The patient will be much happier after surgery if you make sure that their ocular surface is stable be beforehand. Any particular case studies or examples that you have, even if you kind of condense them down? I had a patient that was referred uh, in by another optometrist who was unhappy with the surgery he had had at a different uh, surgery center. He had had a toric IOL put in bilaterally. We looked at him, could automatically already tell that he had a large amount of ABMD, anterior basement membrane dystrophy, in both eyes. Lots of ocular surface disease. Should have never been put in a toric IOL lens. Had a significant amount of staining, punctate staining on the surface. We treated him for dry eye after four weeks. We ex uh, explanted his toric IOLs, put in monofocal IOLs. Much happier, much better vision, much more comfortable of a patient. So if you take that two extra minutes and stain the patient, do the dry eye evaluation, he could have been saved a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of headache just by that. High five, Dr. Evans. You're saving the day. <laughs> Thanks for the example. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Evans, thank you so much for coming on. I thank appreciate it. Thank you for having it. me. Yep.